Hey fellow Mouseketeers, this is Pink Lady and today we are back to some offline content. I know these last few few weeks I've been doing more of a live podcast and I'm grateful for all you guys that do show up. It's awesome to do this Disney podcast and just, you know, find out either different information and stuff like that. But today is the April unboxing. Yeah, the last one I did, I did on March during a podcast. I was like, okay, cool. But I still like doing the offline where it's like, I don't know. I get to show you a little bit more up close and personal instead of me getting up off from a chair and all that stuff. But the box is over here by me. Like, yeah, like it's weird over here. And it's like on an opposite. <laughs> but it is over here and it's raring to go. And I'm so excited. Well, dude, I'm going to put it upside down, guys. Here we go. Your well, life adventure begins. And I like the little, little Earth Day thing. Well, it says born to explore, which we all need to explore in our lives. And they got little Walt Life special delivery with the with the little castle. And then we got on this side, we got Sword in the Stone. Ooh, I hope there's something with Sword in the Stone and with the, yeah, guys, it's like a really weird, odd feeling. And the crown, hopefully there's something with Sword in the Stone because you don't see too many stuff with that. And going this direction, we got the little seagulls and a compass and a little flirt of whatever you want to call them. It's on here. And on this side, you got like a kind of a good, dis dis different version of Ariel and with a little crab and a starfish. And I think the crab's supposed to be Sebastian, but it's not really. So it's kind of like, okay. But anyways, guys, I'm excited because I love doing these unboxing videos. I love seeing what... I'm going to put this over here a little bit more because it's like I can't reach and be like, I'm reaching like uh, miles away. So without further ado, let's open the box. Caution. Oh, I love the caution, guys. Magic. Oop, there you go. I was like, come on, camera. Focus. Caution. Magic enclosed. Sounds like it's like a secret. Oh, goodness gracious. Camera, what are you doing? The camera's being what? Oh, my goodness. Well, I guess the first thing we're going to talk about is this little thing since this is like right in front of my face is a little pop pop thing with bruce banner with the avengers infinity war since i guess since you know the end game's coming out well, actually this weekend <laughs> this friday so i'm assuming this i'm not a big of marvel fan like i do accept them i do watch them it's not like that but i'm not like a oh my god you know blah 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 you know you're like you know like some people are which is great it's like me with my disney i like all animated disney stuff so i'm just gonna take it as that so so i don't know if i'll keep him or not just to say but so keep an eye out i might give him away because i'm just sorry guys just not a big not a big marvel fan so yeah and i just now realized i forgot to do something <laughs> I can get them off. Aww. I don't have to actually cut stuff off probably later. But I got my no, no, no. I got these mini mouse ears. I forgot. I got on my last vacation. I went to Disney and I forgot to put them on. So let me see if I can get them on my head. Because I remember we used to always do the let's put them on a head type thing. <laughs> well, if they want to. There we go. I think. Yep, they're cute. <laughs> so, I forgot to put on the mini ears. And these are my new mini ears. I'm so excited. And they're like blinged out. So, I forgot to put those on, guys. Sorry about me. All right, we got some little of the paper stuff, which fun, fun. <gasps> I am excited, guys. I am so excited because I was going to wondering if I was going to ever going to get these when I go to the Disney parks next year. But... I actually got them and I'm excited. And it's the Minnie Mouse Rose Gold Ears. Exciting! I actually got a pair. And it's so, so me. Because I'm, of course, pink lady guys. And these are rose gold mini ears. I'm so, so excited. I can switch out my mini ears. <laughs> 
but I was like really wanting to get these if I ever went to the park. Sorry, I got a little excited there, guys, because I'm so, it's so excited. But I am really, 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 really excited. About almost like the burst out of the seams here because it's like, oh my god. And it's like talking about putting on these ears. And then I end up getting my all time favorite ears. Yes. I'm so excited. It's like, oh. I know I got the little tag I have to get off. But yes, guys, look at this. Yes. My. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> this one I'm going to keep for me because this is, and I get to wear these to the park next year. I'm so excited to go back to Disney and all that. But yes, guys, I'm planning on a trip to Disney again. You can't keep a Disney girl away from Disney. <laughs> but yes, guys, I'm excited. That was probably the most excitement I've probably ever had in my life. Um, But the next thing we got here is Oh, what is this? Another charm. And it says, wild for summer. Oh, it's like a little locket. And it has, okay. It has like Olaf. Let me see the camera focus. There he, come on, focus camera. Come on, focus. Can you focus? No? Yeah, it's, it's a little, little Olaf if you can get it. Focus. Let me see how close I can get, guys. Come on, focus on me. But yeah, it's a little off. I know it's kind of blurry. And then it's then it's a um, and then it has the what? wild for summer. If you my phone camera, there we go. So it's a little charm bracelet, but it looks like it could be a locket too because it, it does look like a locket. But I doubt there's anything in here. If there was, I'd be kind of wondering. But yeah, you can open this. It's like a or maybe did I do it wrong? Anyways, guys, but yes, it's like a little charm, but it's like a little locket with Olaf. I'm kind of getting into this. I, I seriously would like to get like another charm like, and just add if I start getting these like little charms, especially like the last one I got last month, which reminding guys is the little Mickey one. So I'm like, I can start having my own little charm bracelet. I just need to find because I'm, I'm seeing these little charm charm it. So I need to find maybe the site or something to maybe actually get myself a uh, a charm bracelet with all these charms I'm getting in the box, which I'm so, so cute. I enjoy it. And, um, the next thing we got here is a pen? Question mark? Yeah, a pen from Marvel, again, with the Avengers. See, guys, I'm not a big Avengers, and I don't know who you are. Who are you? See, that's how much you know I know, don't know Marvel when I don't even know what this pen is for or who but I don't know guys let me know in the comments who this person is in Marvel if I can get him there we go yeah I he's part of the Avengers I, I'm I don't know and I don't want to make it wrong and I don't want people to yell at me because I got it wrong <laughs> so but it's a little Avengers pin so it, like I said guys I'm not Avengers fan but I do appreciate having him and maybe helping fans that are like my own subscribers that are fans of Marvel, they can get some pretty cool stuff if I do like a giveaway or something because like I said, guys, it's just not my thing, but it's kind of cool. It has a little pin, you have a little lid, a little pop Funko thingy with the little, yeah, little Avenger person on top. Like I said, guys, Avengers, not my thing. I do accept it, just not my thing. <laughs> but, um, but we did get Artitol little letter which is the letter i so if i'm like if i could get this to go i really would like to win if i could find all my coins oh i have another eye over here so i've had eyes and t's yeah so i need to like start figuring out what do i have and what i don't have oh and this the first ever surprise box is the perfect way to reveal your announcement. Oh, that's kind of cool, the little thing. You get like this little thing and it says if you're planning a Disney trip, but if you want to, um, first ever surprise box is the perfect way to reveal your announcement. Well, I already announced it to you guys that I'm going. So it's kind of like, okay, well that, that was kind of a 
let down. I should probably have waited. If you or a loved one are planning a surprise trip to any of the Disney vacation destinations, you're going to need a way to share the great news. With our surprise box, you can share the excitement of a Disney vacation with your loved ones while also stocking up on some of the items necessary, necessary for any Disney trip. Features vacation specific goodies, six and older Disney mystery items, customize your box and top secret packaging, free USA shipping, gifting options available. Oh, that's kind of cute. I, I don't know if we'll do it or not, like me and my boyfriend, um, we might decide to do one for our own self, especially when you're getting like stuff for your trip. I, I, I kind of would go on that, that aspect of it. So eh, it, 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 we might do the surprise box, but that's not until next year. So we're not, you know, worried about it too much right now. Um, but also we got the Walt Life puzzle again, as always the little color puzzles. Not a big fan of this, but you know, it's cute. It'd be cute for like a little kid, you know, and stuff like that. Get them something to do like on a long car ride or something, you know, coloring a puzzle and put it together. How fun is that, kids? I mean, you can't go wrong with putting a puzzle and coloring your own puzzle. Um, but we also did get reading our bookmark, but I like this one because it's a beast from Beauty and the Beast. It's kind of a cute little like different type of a beast. I think it's like awesome. So, but yes, it's the little thing, but I might keep this one because of, of course, if I could figure out which way to go, <laughs> but yeah, I, I do enjoy Beauty and the Beast. So anything Beauty and the Beast related is going to be kept. <laughs> um, but I don't know if I got everything. Did I get everything out of this box? Yes, I did. I did get everything out of this box. So, so yeah, that was it guys. I, I checked the, 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 the little thing and tells you what you got. So, but anyways, guys, the only thing that in this box that really excited me, uh, I mean, the most excitement are the rose gold Mickey ears. Yay! Because it's pink and it's just, it's all me. All me. But yes, rose gold is like a big thing for a little while in Disney. So these are hard to get, guys. They were like, once they were like announced at Disney, they sold out in a day. Like, everybody went and got these rose gold ears and I, i'm was like oh my god but you know but at that time when i went the last time they were big they were kind of sold out so i was like well i ended up getting these which if my computer camera will stop going <laughs> but like i said i got these and i was like that's still good i like the little bling 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 oh, i can't even talk the little bling of the mini ears but i am so excited to can't wait to wear my rose gold mini ears and i did like the little charm bracelet but i did not i'm not much of a marvel fan but i do pick the box that's kind of a mix so i can get like some of the boys and the girls side so that's why i was like i kind of made it more neutral of a box so i can get a little bit of everything so i'm not just like stuck with one type of thing so that's the reason why i got the marvel characters in there but for me not a Marvel character, so either they're going to give away to family or I'm going to give it as a giveaway for my channel when I decide to give to a giveaway. But, so, this is it for the April unboxing video. So, but anyways, guys, I hope you liked this video, so please like and share this video, and please subscribe, and if you do subscribe, hit the bell down below to know when I post. I will post offline content off and on, but the podcast is on Thursdays until, unless the time changes or whatever. So, so join me tomorrow for around 10 a.m. Central Time for the podcast. So we're going to continue with the Silver Age. So, so, but also, guys, just remember you guys are all a book and it's still being written. So I'll see you guys all next time. Bye.